widespread destruction and claimed over 36,000 lives. But what caused such a massive explosion and what made Krakatoa so dangerous? Let's delve into the mysteries of this infamous volcano. Krakatoa was formed from a previous major eruption, believed to have taken place in the 5th or 6th century AD, that created the island along with two nearby islands, Lang and Verlaton, and an undersea caldera between them. By 1883, Krakatoa consisted of three peaks, Perboiwatan, the northernmost and most active, Danan in the middle, and Rakata, the largest located in the south. Despite the last eruption being recorded two centuries earlier in 1680, Krakatoa was considered extinct until May 1883 when tremors and explosions were reported, leading to increased activity. On August 26, 1 p.m., the first in a series of powerful explosions took place with a volcanic blast that sent a cloud of gas and debris 15 miles into the air above Perboiwatan. The climax of the eruption occurred on August 27, 10 a.m., with a huge wow was demonstrated by the steamship Baral, which was deposited nearly a mile inland on Sumatra, killing all its crew. In comparison, the bomb that devastated Hiroshima in 1945 had a force of 20 kilotons, which is nearly 10,000 times less powerful. The vivid sunsets, and darkening the skies. The poet Gerard Manley Hopkins, who was in England at the time, wrote about skies with green, blue, gold, and purple hues, saying, The glow is intense. That is what strikes everyone. It has prolonged the daylight and optically changed the season. It bathes the whole sky. It is mistaken for the reflection of a great fire. Immediately after the eruption, temperatures in the surrounding areas dropped due to dense clouds. Later studies suggest that the eruption caused a decline in average global temperatures for several years as the dust spread. The aftermath of the Krakatoa eruption was felt not only in the region surrounding the Sunda Strait, but also around the world. The ash clouds from the eruption blocked out the sun, causing a decline in global temperatures, and red sunsets were reported as far away as Europe and the Americas. The ash and dust from the eruption also caused a decline in global rainfall and disrupted weather patterns, leading to crop failures and famine in many parts of the world. In 2008, a new cone had risen above sea level and had grown into a small island within a year, named Anak Krakatoa, meaning, Child of Krakatoa. The island has since continued to grow, reaching a height of around 1,000 feet, and has had occasional mild eruptions, including a one on the VEI in 2014. The 2014 eruption of Anak Krakatoa was a minor volcanic event, measuring a 1 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI. Anak Krakatoa, which means, Child of Krakatoa, is a new island that formed in the late 1920s after the reawakening of the Krakatoa volcano. The island has continued to grow and erupt from time to time, with the 2014 eruption being one such instance. The impact of this eruption was limited and did not cause significant damage. The Krakatoa eruption serves as a reminder of the impact that natural disasters can have on the world, not just in the immediate aftermath but also in the long term. It also highlights the need for increased understanding and preparedness for natural disasters, in order to mitigate their impact and prevent loss of life and property.